The protracted Boko ethnic conflict has resulted in the loss of many lives and destruction to property. Boko has become a ghost town with gunshots almost every night. Last week, the military were accused of allegedly killing seven persons in line of duty, but in a press statement debunked the claims. Following the death of the seven, the Upper East Regional Security Council, Rexec, paid a working visit to Boku to commiserate with bereaved families from both factions and called on the feuding factions to cease fire and embrace peace. Rexec chairman, who doubles as the Upper East Regional Minister, Stephen Yakubu, bemoaned the impact of the conflict on livelihoods and admonished both factions to cease fire. Fighting never solves any problem. It rather draws us back. It rather increases our poverty level. We all know banks have closed, schools have closed, hospitals have closed. <clears throat> Commercial activity is completely almost zero. People are scared. These are the facts of Boko. These are the realities of Boko. What are we doing? But the assembly member for Misiga, Paul Musa, expressed dissatisfaction about the alleged military brutality in Boko and called on Rexec to ensure all security personnel exercise high standards of professionalism in their line of duty. After everything, when they were questioning me, I was giving them their answers. All of a sudden, one of them came with a gun. He wanted to shoot me, then they gave him a sign that he shouldn't do that. Then he cocked it and removed the bullet, they removed the maga, then he now used the gun on me. He hit me to the extent that I have to protect myself by using my hand and protect myself because I would have been killed. He beat me with the gun to the extent that they won. They wound my head, my, at my hand here, and they have wounded me there. You can see all over here even here, by using the, the pin of the mouth to choke me. Then you can see my head. I just went for treatment. The head of human resources of the Ghana Education Service in the Upper East region, Joseph Anaba, says the attrition rate in 2022 was overwhelming. As a result of the conflict, ladies and gentlemen, releases and transfers outside Boko in 2021. 30 teachers left Boko municipality to other districts within the region. But in 2022, inter-district transfers alone was nine, 95. 95 left Boko municipality to other districts in the region and 85 teachers left Boko to other regions in the nation. A senior public health officer at the Regional Health Directorate, Suleiman Majid, also bemoaned the impact of the conflict on essential services such as health and appealed for peace in Boko. We've also seen that women who are actually pregnant and would have wished that they get quick access to delivery because if a woman is actually pregnant, it's the life of the woman as well as the life of the baby who's here to be born. Within 2021-2022, in Boku alone, we have lost as many as 70 of mothers who are dying because they wish they could get access to health workers to be able to give them timely health interventions. Putting these two alone, 
will tell us that there is actually a devastating effect of the conflict in Baku. Rexec has admonished the feuding factions to use dialogue and embrace peace instead of the continuous um, firing of arms in Baku. They have actually appealed and begged them to seize the gun shops, embrace peace. But then also there have been concerns um, from the feuding factions that all illegal barriers within the Baku area should be um, removed so as the people can integrate well as a measure of bringing lasting peace to Baku. Reporting for City News, Frederick Aoudi, Baku.